Yo, did she really say that? No, I think she did. Yo, what's good, everybody? And thank you for tuning in to another Tyler Perry Sisters video. And as you can see, this video is entitled Dysfunctional Sisterhood. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning family member, you already know what it is and what it always will be. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe if that's what you choose to. Leave a comment. Whether you agree or disagree with what I say, I would love to hear your thoughts, especially about this video. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to just go ahead and get into this thing. Now, when I was growing up, my mother used to say to me quite often, just because it ain't said, don't mean it ain't so, which simply means just because I haven't spoken on it doesn't mean I'm not aware. Or in my case, if I don't speak on something in every sister's review, doesn't mean that I'm becoming laxed or my views have changed. So let's just be very clear. Karen, Danny, Andy, and Sabrina are not reflections of me and my sister circle. Okay. The things that I see them do is not a reflection of the culture that exists between me and my friends. Oftentimes, I feel with friends like them, who the hell needs enemies? Okay, that's honestly um, how I feel about this situation. Now, I have stated countless times that I personally feel that Andy is not a friend to any of these women. I feel like she uses them. They are like just commodities to her. They make her feel good about herself because she has more money than them. She's for the most part more established than them. And she would be the one that is considered on paper to have her life together in comparison to the rest of these women. So that's how I feel. I don't feel she's a friend to any of them. And I've said that countless times in my reviews. When it comes to Danny, when sisters first started, I did not like the character of Danny. I couldn't stand her. I'm talking about I did not like her. There was a strong dislike for that particular character because I felt like Danny used to get a lot of passes because she was the comedic relief of the show. And a lot of people, you know, would give her a little pat on the back because it's like, oh, Danny keeps it real and she tells it like it is. Now, were there times when Danny's truth was needed? Absolutely. However, 95% of Danny's keeping it real, in my personal opinion, was rooted in disrespect with the intent to hurt someone. And I have always questioned Danny's friendship, especially towards Karen. Now, people can say what they want to say about Karen. But when it comes to being a ride or die for her sisters, she is that. Regardless of when they need her, whether it's rain, snow, sleet, or hail, baby girl is there. Which brings me to Wednesday night's episode. Before I get to Wednesday night's episode, let me bring up this situation. Because you know, some, some fans have amnesia. Because let's not forget that Danny was the golden child before, you know what I'm saying, Fatima took over that title. Now, going back, like I said, I've always questioned Danny's friendship, especially when it comes to her and Karen. Going back to season one, for those who may have forgotten. I would have tried to stump a hole in Danny if I was a friend. Do we remember when Danny allowed Zach to stay at her house? Zach got high because Zach was not a smoker. Zach got high, proceeded to hump a pillow, which he thought was Danny, to the point that he ejaculated and thought that he and Danny had sex. Zach was naked. Danny was looking at Zach while he was in the bathroom, while he was naked. All of the Danny, you know, I just, I just, it was so inappropriate. And for the most part, fans laughed at it. They let it go because Karen still doesn't know about this situation. Danny was actually going to allow Zach to tell Karen that he had sex with Danny. That's how much of healing Danny needs. And I know that this whole Karen and Zach and Fatima situation has overshadowed a lot of deep rooted issues in my opinion that are prevalent on this show and I'm like let me just do a video because normally I am not one to come back and talk about things that I've said but I found it very interesting as I did get some people to message me 
and I did get some I was looking at some of the comments <laughs> some of y'all real funny <laughs> but I was looking at some of the comments and I'm just thinking like let me just remind people you know what I'm saying just because something wasn't stated in a video or a review let me just make sure you do understand my stance now I was not here for Danny and her impromptu you know what I'm saying sayings that she said on Wednesday night I was not here for the disrespect and I was not here for her actually inviting Fatima to stay. Now, let's just dissect this entire scene. So based on what the girls know of Karen, I would say this probably was out of character. But then again, it could have been in character. We don't know everything that Karen has done when it has come to her relationship with Zach. However, me looking, I'm like, clearly you can see your friend is not winning this situation clearly you can see she is trying to pull on everything she believes is going to hurt Fatima so when her and Fatima got to a place where it was like everything was cool and Fatima was getting ready to go I would have let Fatima go because clearly y'all need to have a moment with y'all so-called friend which (sighs) this is the most dysfunctional group of sisters I have ever seen in my life Now, when sisters first started, and I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but I'm going to bring it all together. I was very happy with sisters because I'm like, wow, you know, I get to see these women who are in their mid to late 30s. You know, they are career women. They're intelligent. You know what I'm saying? They went to, I believe they always went to HBCU. They're doing their thing out there in Atlanta. Of course, have issues like we all do. Dating woes like we all do. Some of them a little bit extreme. You ain't trying to sleep with no married men. You feel me? But I really gravitated to this show. It was actually one of my favorite shows when it first came out. I'm not even going to tell y'all where this show stands with me at this moment. Just know that I I don't use the word hate a lot. But I hate the direction that Tyler has taken this show. I, I, I just do. I'm just being honest. Normally, these are the type of videos that I put on Patreon because I get a little deeper about my feelings about this show and the things that I see. Normally, YouTube is strictly for the reviews of the show. But because I did get a lot of. I'm not going to say a lot. I did get some people to question why I said some of the things I said about Karen, which I'm like, what are you shocked about? I may be Karen may be my favorite, but that doesn't make Karen exempt from me calling her out. Because if that was Fatima, there's a lot of people who listen to my reviews who don't like Fatima. You, a lot of people would have wanted me to bash her and not batter an eyelash about it. But that's just not who I am. There are reviewers who bash everybody on the show. There are some reviewers who basically make a mockery of this show. And I don't want to do that. And that's just not who I am. There are some things I do not comment on. That has transpired within the show because I don't want to come off as if I'm bashing the show or that I'm bashing Tyler. And it has absolutely nothing to do with any of the actors and actresses on this show. I commend them. I big up them. I wish nothing but continued favor over their careers. It's not them. Tyler is the one who's writing this. You know, he's the one who's writing this. But there were some things that Danny did when she was like, down goes Mott. I didn't find that funny. I really didn't find that funny. I felt like this was a time where Karen, even though I do not agree with what she did, I do not agree with her intention in having Fatima come over there. I felt like that was a moment where she needed her friend support minus Fatima because I, I'm like, I felt like Danny was kind of throwing salt in Karen's open wound. That's really how I felt. I felt like Fatima shouldn't have been there. When Danny made the statement, you know, Fatima, you might as well stay. You're like family. I'm like, uh, nah. (laughs) No diss to Fatima. Fatima's not family. Fatima is Zach's girlfriend. She's not his wife. She's not his fiance. She's his girlfriend of like two and a half weeks. And Tyler Perry's time. She's not family. Now, I will say this. I think it's a jacked up situation because the girls were cool with Fatima when they initially met her at the little girls night at the restaurant 
it didn't become a problem until Zach became a variable, you know, in the situation. And unfortunately, sometimes that's just what happens. You know, I had someone to ask me, what do I think it meant about Fatima being a casualty of war? Because that's what it stated in the description. And I think a lot of people felt like Fatima was welcomed into the sisterhood. I didn't see it that way. She would never be welcomed. I don't think she would, she would never have that spot. Then the other thing was, too, it was the fact that when Danny, you know, was like, you know, Fatima should stay, she proceeded to talk about Zach in front of Karen. Now, we all know the past couple episodes that Danny has been mad as hell at Karen for simply calling her concerning Preston. I'm talking about mad as hell to the point that she's called Karen out of her name. She's called Karen messy and miserable. She's had all kinds of things to say about Karen for simply calling her. Yet, Danny had the audacity to sit her ass in Andy's big old penthouse and proceed to talk to the new girl about her supposed sister's ex-man. And then Fatima was like, yeah, but I still had to patch him up as if, as if Karen wasn't sitting there. And I'm like, I know this isn't happening. Like, this is some foul mess right here that we're witnessing. And so for me, like I stated, we all know, I know I see, well, we all don't know. Cause I see some people be like, I wish the writers would do, ain't no writers. Tyler is the only writer. <laughs> Tyler. Tyler Perry is the only writer of sisters. And when I think of sisterhood, when I think of a culture of women coming together to build each other up, I do not see that with sisters. Like I don't see them. It's kind of like, you know, they make me think of women who are still friends based on the principle that they've known each other for a long time, not because there is an actual love there or I can see myself benefiting from this person being in my life I don't see that with them I just see them like yeah I rock with her because we went to school together or I rock with her because we were I was in a situation and she helped me out like that's kind of what I see with them so the things that we're able to see is like it, I feel like it's because of that just a few weeks ago as well with Danny, we saw when Danny was communicating with Logan about the whole wedding band thing. She thought he was married and he was like, nah, this is just for the gig. And she was like, yeah, try that on another woman. I have a friend by the name of Andy basically saying Andy is the gullible one. Andy is the one who will believe your BS right now about you not being married. And I understood the fact that, yes, Andy is gullible. We ain't, we not going to, you know, just bypass that. Andy is gullible and Andy is just, I don't know. <laughs> Andy is a whole lot of things, but I'm like, you don't tell some random dude that, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, when it comes to Danny, Danny was a, she was a disappointment, even though she was funny. It made me think about the reasons why I do not really care for Danny. Danny is my least favorite sister and probably always will be because I feel like Danny does things to hurt these people and she gets a pass because she's funny. She gets a pass because she's funny. I think about when Zach first started, you know, dealing with Fatima. Danny could not wait to tell Karen about this new woman that Zach was dealing with. And he really cares about her because he's smiling and he's this. And she just wanted to see Karen's reaction. And I'm just like, who the hell needs enemies with friends like this? So when I talk about their dysfunction and when I talk about how they interact with each other, I'm just like, what, where's the, there's animosity somewhere there is something going on between the midst of these women that maybe we haven't been, it hasn't been revealed to us yet because it doesn't, I can't see myself doing what Danny did to one of my friends. If anything, I would want to go and hug her because I'm like, baby girl, you, you drowning right now and you just, you need a lifeboat and I want to be that for you, but I'm going to wait till this other woman leave before I come and, you know, try to talk some sense into you. Cause it might not be, you know what I'm saying? It might not be too friendly. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes we all need a good kick swift, kicking the ass from our friends. And then there are times we need to be loved. We need to be hugged. We need to be told that, Hey, 
you know, you got this. I know you down and out right now, but baby girl, you're not going to be like this always. And I just don't see that with this group of women. And just because the show is called Sisters does not mean that they are a great reflection of sisters. So I, I know some people may agree with me and I know some people may not, you know, saying agree with me when it comes to this aspect of it. But it's to me, it's just the reality. And I feel like if anybody friendship, this is just the, you know, heads up because I care. If anybody friendship resembles Andy, Danny, Sabrina and Karen, there needs to be some assessment. Because maybe these people don't need to be in your life. Or maybe you need to think about why you have these people in your life. Because when I look at these women, I'm like, why every... And I'm not even going to lie to y'all. When I watch sisters, I'm like, why the hell are they friends? Why? Why Why the hell are they friends? When I forget which episode it was a few episodes ago. When Andy called Sabrina to tell Danny... To meet with her at her house because they was gonna because Karen wanted to talk to them about something. Sabrina was like, "Why you just didn't call her yourself?" And Andy was like, "Well, if I called her, she was gonna cuss me out. Why? Curse you out for what? You you fearful of talking to her because why? It just didn't make sense to me. And sometimes I really do think that sisters." There's an injustice there because Tyler is writing it. Not saying that he is a bad writer. Not saying that. But he's not a woman. And there are some things I see on this show. I'm like, this is not right. This is not proper. This don't make no damn sense. You need some influence from women, Tyler, to make this thing flush out, to make this thing really go. And I'm not talking about because it's a lot of people who like Tyler need to add me to the writing team. No, he don't. (laughs) <laughs> no he don't because if you cannot be unbiased because like don't get me people who enjoy uh Fatima you probably shouldn't be in the writer's room because you're gonna make everything her side you're gonna make everything appeal to that ain't that's not how you write a show and I think that's where the damage has been done when it comes to sisters especially when it comes to the character of Karen because it has been, we're going to demote and we're going to down Karen in order to raise and elevate Fatima in order to raise and elevate Zach. But we're going to use Karen is really the casualty of war. When you really think about it, she's the casualty. You know what I'm saying? She's the one who has had to endure and go through this unnecessary bull crap to elevate another relationship for a damn spinoff. But that's not the story that I'm telling. I'm talking about the dysfunctional sisterhood. So for those who felt that I was a little too hard on Karen, that's your opinion and I respect it. But I don't think I was too hard on Karen. I think Karen deserved exactly what I gave her. Because if it was anyone else, I would think that you would expect me to give the same type of pressure. You feel me? Pressure? Shout out to Ari. But, um... (laughs) But yeah, I just had to talk about that because I just, I felt that I did have a whole section to talk about when it came to Danny and her actions with Karen last night. But when I was on my review, when I got to the end, I was like, dang, this review is 33 minutes and I didn't want the review to be any much longer than that. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do something separate because I think it is important to really think about I know people love coming down on Karen. People love talking about how stupid Andy is. (laughs) Post Sabrina. Sabrina just be in La La Land. I don't even know what Sabrina be at half the time. Honestly, I don't even think Sabrina know what she be at half the time. Baby girl just floating. Sail. Sail on. That's how how Sabrina is. But with Danny, I think it is very important to really look at some of the things that Danny does when it comes to friendship. Because it's so interesting that Danny expects so much respect and she expects things to be done a certain way when she does not reciprocate that and she does not give out that same energy. But I just had to come and, and talk about that for a little minute. No, I was not. I know. I And, and let me tell you this too. The same way it's a struggle for y'all to watch sister sometimes. It's a struggle for me. And then think about it. I got to come and give a damn review on it. I need prayer. <laughs> Because I'm like, this is hard. I have to make it make. And the only way that I can, 
give a good review in, in my in my opinion it has to be fun for me you know what i'm saying i have to make it fun i'm not gonna you're not gonna get ayala van zant from me every review i'm sorry you're not you know what i'm saying i will still give the reviews that i give with my little input insight or what have you but it's not gonna always be deep i mean hell we're watching sisters it ain't that deep <laughs> you know but i just had to come and talk about it because i just felt like there were some people who misunderstood my stance when it came to how i felt about wednesday night's episode danny was funny but danny was out of line on several occasions and i do feel like out of all the friends honestly and this is not even because i i like she's my favorite i feel like karen is the best the better friend to these women than they are to her and i also thought about how tyler would give us moments of like wow that was a beautiful moment when Karen and Zach met up at Danny's place and after Zach left and Karen was breaking down because she just didn't want to accept the truth. And Danny hugged her and Danny was telling her like, Karen, he said it, you know, he said it. I thought that was a beautiful moment that made me think about moments I have had with my friends when they did not want to come to the realization that their marriage is over this man does not love you. He does not want to be with you. He does not want to be a father to his children right now. That hit home for me. That I thought it was a beautiful moment. The the scene where, you know, Karen went over to Andy's and found Andy in bed after, you know, Gary choked her out and she she cried and she talked about, you know, what she had to witness with Andy in college. That was a moment for me because I've had way too many friends who have been physically abused by, you know, their boyfriends. And it made me think about like looking at them in their face, looking at the black eyes, the busted lip, the bloody nose, and just reassuring and reaffirming them that you are better than this. And you don't deserve this. I Those are moments where I feel like Tyler really does tap into the emotional aspect of friendships. But 90% of the time, that's not what we get. We get the BS. You know what I'm saying? And so I just, I would love to see more of that. I would love to see more aspects of what women really deal with when it comes to us in a friendship, when it comes to us understanding that this, this friendship is no longer beneficial. How do I let this go? Or how do I tell my friend that I need more of her and I need more of her wisdom. I need more of her affirmation because yes, I know how to speak life into myself, but right now I just don't see it. I really would love to see those things happen on this show. Because, I mean, hell, it's called Sisters. I just really want what we watch on Wednesday night to reflect true sisterhood. You can have the drama in there. The drama going to be there. But let's really get back to what Sisters was really originated for. And that's all I got to say about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can let me know your thoughts um, in the comment section. Thank you. First, let me say this too. I want to give a shout out to everybody who comment. Uh, I see some of y'all be having little arguments. I don't get into it. <laughs> I read and keep it going. But one thing I will say, and this is even for like, even with YouTube and things that I get messages from YouTube and other people who listen to my videos, people always give me major props on my comment section. And that has absolutely nothing to do with me. That has everything to do with you guys who comment. And they always tell me that they love my comment section. I have one of the best comment section when it comes to sisters videos. And I'm so appreciative of that. And I do not take that lightly. So I thank everyone who comments, whether you agree with me, whether you don't agree with me, whether you're indecisive, whether you just say, hey, girl, what's up? I thank you for commenting and keeping my comment section popping. I really appreciate it. So until next time, I will holler at y'all later. One.